Hi everyone and welcome back to the Frank Knott Sewing Machines YouTube channel. We're going to have a look at the Brother VR embroidery machine today. So this is a kind of industrial standard embroidery machine suitable for small business and home use. Um, you can actually use it to as, as a small business and um, Brother will still support you with that. So it's quite unique in that sense. Um, it's a really heavy duty in industrial style embroidery machine. It only does one job and it does it really well. So we're just gonna go through kind of some of the threading and uh, the on-screen editing as well because there's quite a few features you can actually do that are all built into the machine already. Uh, first of all, you can actually wind bobbins onto this machine. Um, so round here, you've got the nice metal bobbins and you pop that onto the spindle. And then you're following the threading path with this uh, bobbin fill here. So all of the holes that have got a number with a circle in them are the, uh, the holes for the actual um, bobbin. Let's just trim that a little bit, make it a sharper edge. So it's very easy. Number one, if you can get it through. There we go. And number two. Everyone can count, so everybody can thread this machine. <laughs> three, you go around this tension disc here, and that's what's giving the thread tension. And four. And then down to the bobbin it here. So if you want to get a look at that. Wind on as much as you've got left on in your hand. Flip that over. The machine will then say that it's bobbin winding. Just press start. And that'll wind on nice and speedy. There are other embroidery machines available from Brother. We do also have the multi-head upstairs, the PR1050X. Um, so that's a 10-head machine. That's got 10 needles. This does just have the one. That one doesn't actually have a bobbin winder on it, but this, if you're doing single colour, not bothered about changing colours every so often, then this one with the bobbin winder on is also a really good choice. It also comes with loads of different frames. We're going to have a look at one of the, the regular frames, but it does also come with sleeve arm frames as well. I'll let this finish winding on because it's so quick, but you can stop it at any point. It should just flip over in a minute. There we go. And you've got a little thread cutter on there, and you can just leave that bobbin thread there. That's not going to cause any harm for next time. So with our bobbin, we've got a standard kind of bobbin case, industrial style bobbin case. That way around. And front loading into the front of the machine into the bottom. So it's fully clicked into place. We'll just leave that open for a moment. Threading the actual coloured thread. Again, all numbered, so it's really, really straightforward. Over here though, we haven't got numbers with um, the circles in them because circle numbers are only for winding the bobbin. So you can only wind the bobbin from this side of the machine, but you can put any colours on any of them really. If you did want to have four set up, ready to thread, you can do. But we're just going to use this one on the far, far right today. So one, and then you go straight down here to two. A pair of tweezers with this does also work quite well. Slip it underneath this uh, dial for three, and then on the actual image here, on the on embed like kind of cast into the machine case, you have to go all the way around this tension disc, just following the arrow really, and that's where it actually um, tests where if the thread is the, that where the thread top thread sensor is. So I can't get my words out. Uh, so that's where you really need to make sure it is connected down the front and up, this is more like conventional sewing machine, and through the hole of the take-up link, which is very much an industrial style take-up link with that actually having the hole instead of it slipping in in normal sewing machines. Down the front and down to number six. So you then just poke the thread down until it appears there. And then we're ready to use the needle threader. So to get the needle, thread, needle threader ready, you press the button, and it brings actually down the, the needle threader from behind. Go behind this metal part that's right by the, the foot, Ooh. underneath that, and then into the needle thread there. Bring the thread up towards you, and then there is a trimmer here, and that's just gonna hold the thread in place and give it the correct amount of tension. So when you press this button again, 
doesn't thread the needle. <laughs> Let's get that on. Typical. Right. Every time I try and do it slowly. There we go, that's better. Ready to go. <laughs> so you don't need to pick up your um, bobbin thread, you can just kind of trim that off slightly shorter and leave that just kind of in the actual tray there. Close that up. I'm going to attach our frame. We've just got one of the smaller frames here. This is the 10 by 10 centimetres. And so these slide on using um, these arms here. You can adjust these to fit on even larger frames, um, but maybe we'll go through what's in the box at another time. Uh, so if we slide this on, it's quite a positive click into place. There we go, nice and sturdy. So now with our screen here, we can select from loads of different patterns. We've got quilting designs, borders, kind of all the things that you find on a normal um, brother embroidery machine, um, as well as some added extras, lots of different motifs. Let's try some lettering. Uh, this font looks pretty cool. Let's do a nice big FN for Frank Nutt. F and N. Let's set that there. And I should be able to look at it in the hoop as well. So you can see exactly which hoop, so you can choose which one you do actually have on. So the machine knows exactly what it's doing. Same process as with the, with the normal um, Brother Embroidery machines, but so it's good to see that it's got all of these already built in. You can zoom into that and see loads of detail on your design. As we're just doing one colour, there's no colour change, but I can actually tell, because we've got this in a blue, I can tell the machine that I am actually going to be doing it in a nice blue. So there we go. Just so you can get a visual representation on screen as well of your chosen design. So when we're ready, we go to embroidery. And it automatically has this kind of lock feature, so you can't actually press go. You do actually have to unlock it and then that will go green and you can actually, the laser pointer will appear and then you can actually start the machine. You can then lock it as well there from that point too. And if you wanted to check your design first, to check it's going to be landing in the correct place, which is always a good idea, this button here with the arrow, with the dotted line going around, this then you can see the laser pointer and watch exactly where it's going to land. which is always handy. So if you need to reposition, you can. You could just move, if you know that actually you need it to be a little bit further up, you can just touch the screen and move it or use the buttons there until you're happy. But if we're happy with that positioning, um, then I'm gonna press the unlock button. I'm just gonna double check that thread's not caught there. I think, it, there we go. Perfect. And then we'll start. But we do have lots of information on screen of how long this is going to take. We've got three minutes and it's one colour, so you know exactly what you're, like, what you're in for. You can go make a cup of tea, come back, not a problem at all. This will happily just work away. It's working at a thousand stitches per minute, but the machine will regulate how fast it's going for what type of stitch it's doing. So don't be alarmed if it slows down and speeds up. If it's doing very short stitches, it will go really fast. If it's doing longer stitches, it's going to have to slow down in order to prevent any threads breaking. were to snap, which is something that can happen. Um, so let me just grab the photo. The beauty of this is that, and this goes for a lot of the brother sewing machines actually, and embroidery machines, it's really simple to get back to where you were. So if I was to... It's now, because it's removed from the sensor here, it said check up a bobbin thread. It knows that it's, it's not quite there. So if I just remove this, trim off there, and re-thread the machine, 
that bit because it may take a little minute a, while, a, a couple of stitches for it to actually realize that you've uh, that the thread has snapped So you want to get back to exactly where you were. Hopefully this needle thread will work for me this time. <laughs> so if you close that, get the threader back into position. We can actually um, go to this part here. So if you feel that where the actual laser guide is, you need it to be a few stitches back. Where the needle point is with the plus and the minus, so if we click that, we can go back one stitch, 10 stitches. You can even then go forward if you think you've made a mistake until the arrow, until that laser pointer is exactly where you want it to be. And obviously you can even go back 500 stitches at a time or even an entire color if you're doing a very complex design and need to go over something again. Um, so that looks about right to me so if we just press OK and then the unlock and restart it'll actually just start where it left off and we shouldn't really notice any break in our design and that's a really useful feature that's so easy to use it goes across the whole of the brother range obviously we've got the jump stitches as well so that trims all the stitches so there's no actual trimming of jump stitches once you've finished an embroidery design and you get that on some of the more advanced with an embroidery machine. Is it going full speed? <laughs> Nearly full speed. And then it sings to you when it's done. <laughs> you can also turn off all of these noises because some of them can be quite annoying. But there we go, our finished article. So you can clip the frame out. And we've obviously used backing on this as well, but you can see the tension's pretty spot on. Yeah, very nice. So that's just one size of the um, fonts. There's loads built in, lots you can do. But obviously, we don't want to waste too much time showing you tons of ways to edit edit it but we can do that another time but thanks for watching and if there are any questions you have on the VR or uh, if you wanted to come in for a demonstration you're more than welcome to come in store and um, even if you want to have a look at the big bad big bad PR upstairs with 10 threads maybe we'll do a video on that one soon as well but let us know what you'd like to see and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching